Very, very pleasant surprise around these parts. For Moorhead State, they've had some injury issues there without their best player. They need some real scoring early on, Jimmy, from Davon Cooper, the 6'4", redshirt junior, who had to sit out last year because of injuries out of Louisville, Kentucky. And we are underway, immediately attacked all programs in the history of college athletics and to me that's just a lifted two three zone that rotates into like a four round one zone boston offensive rebound to boston jr boy lots of contact there and he throws it off the back cool so physically he's ready for this level i think mentally he's tough enough to handle that quarterback spot under calipari and it's not easy to handle Nice kick to the corner, feet set. You mentioned the three-point shooting or lack thereof for Moorhead State. Well, you mentioned right before the opening tip how long Kentucky is. They get out to play some defense. That shot not close by Julius Dixon. It's two rams in the history of college athletics. And to me, that's just a lifted 2-3 zone that rotates into like a four-round one zone. Boston offensive rebound by Preston Spradlin. Just making Kentucky feel a little uncomfortable and staying out of rhythm. Step back jump shot by Boston off the front of the rim and Moorhead State trailing by only 10. Got a chance to get back into this before the end of the first half. Plenty of time left. Beautiful pass but can't be come back against Florida that sealed the championship in the SEC. Didn't seal it. Kentucky already had it but uh, he was really coming on. Out right now with a calf injury. Nice play by the free throws. Kick, pull up, jump shot by Baker, not there off the front of the iron, and the cold shooting continues for Moorhead State, or I should say the excellent defense for Kentucky, 245, just inside it left in the opening half. Clark now running the point. Did you hear the call, Jimmy? Vegas? Vegas, yeah. <laughs> and what, what does Brandon Boston do? He breaks off of the normal finish. Thank you as the shot clock was winding down. Cal, I'm sure, wants to start this second half with his defense getting hot like it was the first half. You can get hot defensively just like you can offensively as a team, and Kentucky was hot defensively the first 20. Good hands by Askew. Shot clock now working against Moorhead State. Hesitation and kick to Bryant along the baseline, number 22. Misses that in the rebound taken by Buffalo and Blue. Oh, yeah, absolutely is. I mean, he's got a he's got a power five body. It's interesting, Coach Calipari doubling the post right now. When I, I don't think he needs to. He might just be working on it defensively. That Moorhead State just can't knock down enough shots. They're only 14 of 37 from the floor. That ball tipped away. Nice work getting on the floor once again is Cameron Fletcher. Boston playing with a little bit of foul nice. trouble, <laughs> but no They've got to make shots. They struggled shooting the ball last year and so far this year That ball's not dropping at a high rate either Preston Spradlin their fourth year head coach who spent five years on the staff here at Kentucky before the team They're missing a game here in this opening weekend They are but you think about it had Detroit not dropped out Kentucky would be playing on Wednesday Friday Sunday Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah. So I what will help Kentucky is you know, foul trouble kind of Took him out of the game in the first half Kentucky with a plus 17 I believe rebound advantage in this game, which is about what it should be over a smaller Moorhead team There's that zone again by Moorhead Kentucky has cut it up really well with guys cutting without the ball